Welcome to Engineering Funda family. This video is a part of Network Theory lecture series and in this video, I'll be going to explain you phasor diagram of RLC series circuit. So when we talk about RLC series circuit, here R, L and C are connected in series and here we are dealing with to analyze phase difference in between voltage and current. So I'll explain you all those things step by step. So here you can observe we are having RLC circuit in series and if you observe as it is there in series current passing through all three elements are same. So what I'll consider is current as a reference phase for this RLC series circuit. So here through all three elements current is same so I'm taking current as a reference. So let us say current I of t that is I m sin omega t. Now in terms of phase you can represent that. So I bar that will be equals to I m is the magnitude and angle is 0. Angle 0 means it is a reference phase. Now my dear students let us try to understand what will happen inside the circuit. So this current I that will pass through all three elements. So across resistance let us say voltage is Vr across inductance let us say voltage is VL and across this capacitance let us say voltage is VC. So here let us try to identify the values of VR, VL and VC. So if I say VR in terms of phase it will be current passing through it in terms of phase into its impedance that is R. So current passing through it in terms of phase it is I m angle 0 into R means it is R into I m with angle 0. Now when we talk about voltage V l in terms of phase then V l in terms of phase means V l bar. Now that is current in terms of phase into impedance Z l. So current in terms of phase that is I m angle 0 and ZL that is J omega L. Now you should know my dear students J omega L means angle is 90. So here I can say omega L into I M with angle 90 is there with V L. And let us write voltage for capacitance that is V C bar and that is phase of I into impedance that is ZC. So here I bar that is I m into 0 angle and ZC is 1 by J omega C. Now my dear students you should know 1 by J omega C means it is having minus 90 degree phase. So I can say I m by omega C that is the magnitude into phase is minus 90 which is there with capacitor. So now we have voltages of these elements in terms of phase. So let us apply KVL in this loop. So if you apply KVL in this loop, total voltage in terms of phase, right, that is V of T in terms of phase, that will be voltage VR in terms of phase plus VL in terms of phase plus VC in terms of phase. So let us write the values. So VR in terms of phase that is R into I m angle 0 plus VL in terms of phase that is omega L I m angle 90 and VC in terms of phase that is I m by omega C angle minus 90. So now I have voltage in terms of phase and current in terms of phase. So let us have phasor diagram of it. So my dear students current is a reference which is having magnitude I m and angle 0. So you see I am plotting current first that is having magnitude I m and its angle is 0. So this is my current phase. Now as if you want to have voltage phase then see it is algebraic sum of three elements right VR, VL and VC. So let us start with VR first. So when you talk about VR then you can observe it is having angle 0 
So here I am just having VR over here which is having angle 0 means it will get overlapped over IM. Let us say this is having magnitude VR and that is R into IM with angle 0. Now let us talk about what will happen with this VL. So VL is having magnitude omega L into IM and angle is 90. So I need to have 90 degree angle with VL. Now if you see VC, so that is having minus 90 degree angle and its magnitude is IM divided by omega C. So minus 90 degree means it will be having this angle minus 90. So here what I am considering is this is VC that is IM divided by omega C angle minus 90 and here I am doing one assumption that is VL is greater than VC. So I am taking first case in which VL that is greater than VC. So in this case when you want to have total voltage then what will happen my dear students? In that case you see here VL is there and here VC is there. right? So total voltage vertically it will be VL minus VC and it will be somewhat like this. right? That will be a difference of VL and VC. And horizontally we are having VR. So you can say total magnitude of this that will be line joining from here to here. So as per this triangle magnitude will be square root of one side square plus another side square. So one side is VR square plus another side is VL minus VC whole square. So here what is VR? VR is I into R plus VL minus VC. So what is VL? Omega L IM minus what is VC? IM by omega C whole square. Now here you can take IM common. So if I take IM common then here in square root there will be R square plus omega L minus 1 by omega C whole square. Now my dear students here as if you want to calculate what is this space then this space is phi then you can identify this space by having this triangle. So phase phi that will be tan inverse opposite by adjacent opposite is VL minus VC and adjacent is VR. So if you substitute the value then you will be getting VL that is omega L IM and VC that is IM by omega C divided by VR that is IM into R. So my dear students here IM will get cancelled and you will be having tan inverse omega L minus 1 by omega C divided by R that will be the phase. Now here if you observe what we have considered VL is greater than VC. So in case of VL is greater than VC you will be observing this phase is positive. And as this phase is positive you can say voltage is leading with respect to current. But as if this VL is less than VC then so first I am taking VL is less than VC. So what will happen this VC will be larger and this VL will be shorter. right? So in that case vertically this voltage that will be over here which is VC minus VL. So in that case you will be observing here resultant voltage that will make angle over here what it means here voltage will lag with respect to current. So it is very essential you should know when VL is greater than VC means for inductive circuit you will be having voltage leading with respect to current. But when you have voltage lagging with respect to current then you will be having capacitive circuit or you can say capacitive network. So these are the basic things that you should note down. 
for inductive network voltage will lead with respect to current and for capacitive network voltage will lag with respect to current or you can say current will lead with respect to voltage and these are the key points that I have seen it is coming many times in competitive examinations so you should be ready for it I hope you have understood this still if any query is there then just post that in comment box I'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video